Hi, I'm Donna Smith and I'm going to speak to you about the Piri Leaves jumper that I designed for the Shetland Wool Week Annual this year. Um, I've got one version on, so I'll stand up and, and let you see it. Um, so it's a lacy uh, jumper, so it's got a lace panel on the front um, and it's got stock and stitch on the back. It's designed to be a, a boxy shape with fitted narrow sleeves. Um, the two versions here, this one on the mannequin has been knit in my Langsoon double knit yarn. Uh, this is shade stain um, and the one that I'm wearing is in Jimmy Sons of Shetland double knit and this is colour pine. It's quite hard to see because it's dark outside at the moment when I'm filming. Um, but it's a dark green and it's got a sort of a yellowy fleck through it and it's a really nice colour. Um, the two yarns just give slightly different fabrics, although they're both double knit. The Langsund um, is slightly thicker and gives a, a slightly thicker garment, um, whereas the, the Jemison's um, double knit is a lighter weight yarn. So it gives a slightly lighter and more drapey, I would say, um, garment um, and I'll stand up again so that you can see it again. So you start, uh, you knit these two ribs, so you knit the front rib and you knit the back rib, stand up like that, uh, and then you pick up the ribs and you knit in the round. So you knit half of the round with the lazy pattern and then the other half in just plain knit so you get your stock and stitch back. Um, and then when you get to the armholes you split it and uh, knit the front and the back and then you knit the sleeves separately and then you graft them on and the reason for doing that is so that you can make them whatever length suits you. Um, I, I've got quite long arms so I tend to like to add a couple of inches to a pattern something like that you might want them shorter so um, so that's the reason why I did it like that. Um, and the inspiration for this design came from the, the type of jumpers or garments that uh, women in Shetland would have worn uh, very traditionally in years gone by um, and you still see a lot of women wearing these types of garments. Um, so as you know Shetland is very famous for its knitting, both Fair Isle and also lace. Um, and at one time nearly every woman would have owned um, garments made by themselves or by family members um, and they often had a, a lace jumper or a cardigan that they would wear to sort of to dress up in, so they would wear to church or to a wedding or to a night out or things like that. Um, and I've got a couple of examples here. So this one here, um, this one came from a charity shop. But this is a very traditional um, jumper that you would you would uh, have seen. Um, and I remember my granny wearing these sorts of things. Um, and this is just a very traditional pattern using the natural colours. Um, so this one like that there, uh, this one here was one that my Aunt Emma knitted for me when I was, oh I don't know, maybe 10 or something like that. My mum had one the same. Um, she, so my Aunt Emma was the, the lace knitter in the family. Um, so really everything I've learned about lace knitting and harp knitting and things like that was from her. She passed away just a couple of years ago and she would have actually been a hundred next year and she knitted really up to the very end. So uh, so this is a very traditional one with the print of the wave on it. Um, and I've got another one here that she knitted but I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well because it's black so it's going to be quite dark. Yeah no you can't see it very well but it's a lace cardigan that she knitted and she knitted it in, she was going to sell it and she had used two dye lots of yarn and she was going to throw it in the bin. So I took it and dyed it black and I've been wearing that. So um, so that's where the inspiration for the jumper came from. I thought I would like to do something with a traditional lace pattern on it but updated a bit more. So I hope you like it. Thank you.